Hello everybody, this is Undoubted here, and guys, today I'm bringing you a video on how to get rid of the bee air. Not completely, but for the most part. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what this air is, because almost everybody that plays Destiny, or not almost everybody, like half the players that play Destiny and play Crucible have been having this issue for the longest time, because I went on Bunchy's website and there are tons of complaints on this. And I kind of figured out how to fix it a little bit, make it not as uh, interrupting. Like now, I only get kicked out of like a fourth or a third of the games, kind of somewhere in between there, but I used to get kicked out of like three-fourths of the games for this error, and I finally figured out how to fix it quite a bit. Not all the time, there's still this occasional I, where I get kicked out for something, and it's actually not even the B error that much anymore, but sometimes it happens. But a lot of it is Destiny servers, I believe. But to help your connection to where you don't get, get kicked out of almost every game you play, basically... What I would do is Google port forwarding uh, for Xbox One or YouTube. I YouTubed it, and there's uh, tons of videos, so that's why I'm not making a video on how to port forward because I really don't know what it is. And basically, there's already like thousands of other videos telling you how to do it. So just Google port forwarding on Xbox One and just follow all the instructions they give you. And basically, ports are like what connect your Xbox to the internet, I guess, or servers. I have no clue. I'm not going to act like I know what this is, but all I know is in the video I watched it said that the Xbox 360 had four ports and the Xbox one has seven so basically there's three more connections that a lot of people don't have because if you had the same router hooked up to your Xbox 360 or still do you might be missing those three other ports which will give you a moderate connection which is what I had and if you don't know a moderate connection basically makes it so internet is slower or your Xbox live is slower and it's harder to find matches and just your connections overall not as good and I have had that issue since I got my Xbox One, but I finally fixed it today by port forwarding, and now I have an open NAT, which makes it your, basically makes your connection better, faster, makes it so you can find games faster, and all that. So I would highly recommend doing this if you have a moderate connection, because I tried everything that wasn't complicated, and port forwarding was the only thing that worked. So just Google a video on that, and it should fix your uh, moderate connection and turn it into an open one and it will definitely help with the B error. Like for me now I rarely get it. I want to say not rarely but kind of not too often I get it. Like maybe like I said a third or a fourth of the time I play Crucible I get kicked out for that. But honestly Destiny really needs to work on their servers. I believe that's the biggest issue. But it doesn't make sense though. Maybe it runs off a host. At least the Crucible part of Destiny. That's what I'm starting to think. Because the rest of Destiny runs off of servers. And I never get kicked out of the campaign or strike missions. But on the Crucible I always get kicked out. So I'm thinking. Well not always anymore. But you know I used to always get kicked out before I did the port forwarding. So I'm starting to think that maybe the Crucible is run off a of host. I'm not for sure. But you never know. And I hope it's not, because that kind of disappoint me, but you never know if it's ran off of a host or not. I hope it's dedicated servers and they're just having issues with them, but if it was that, I figured they would have it fixed by now, but you never know. So hopefully it is just dedicated servers are being messed up and not that Crucibles actually ran off a host, which you never know. But anyways, guys, I thought I'd make this video, because I've been, uh, actually to figure this out, I went to Bungie's website and there are thousands and thousands of comments about the beer and other, like, insect errors that this game has so I just started doing my research and I figured out how to do this port forwarding thing and it made my connection better opened up my NAT and made it so I don't get as many of these errors and I can actually play crucible games like before it'd be so hard for me to finish a crucible game but now like like I said like three-fourths of the time or a little bit more I will end up finishing a crucible game so that's good all the way through like today I actually got to play like six or seven in a row in the same lobby so that was pretty cool. That never happened to me before. The most I got to play in a row before I did this port forwarding was just one game and then I'd get kicked out in the loading time. So I would highly recommend doing this if you guys are having issues with the Crucible or say you have a YouTube channel, you're trying to record the Crucible, but you keep getting kicked out. Definitely Google this port forwarding and it will help you a ton, I promise you. So I just want to make this video just to help everybody out there, just to kind of tell you or point you in the direction where you need to go to fix this like issue or error. Because it doesn't completely fix it, like I said, but it definitely does help it a ton. So I'd highly recommend doing this to anybody that has Destiny or even anybody that has a moderate connection. Because moderate connection really does affect your Xbox Live experience. So you really want that uh, open NAT. So definitely just do port forwarding if you have a moderate NAT or a strict NAT. Or if you just are having connection issues on Destiny. That's really what I just recommend. And right here... You can see I got the B error. This is right before I did the port forwarding. This is actually the last game where I just got fed up and I was just like, okay, I need to fix this. 
And I know these gameplays I've been showing are not too amazing, but like I said, I'm still getting used to Destiny. Something different from Call of Duty it takes a little bit more skill. And I know all you Call of Duty guys are like, what? No, it doesn't. But it really does because you actually have to get headshots. This Destiny is basically a headshot game. That's what you need to do to win. So I do like Destiny multiplayer. I think after a while I'll start getting better at it. But one thing I have noticed is shotguns are beast on there. So that's what I'm going to hopefully be getting soon is a better shotgun. I want to get a legendary. That'd be awesome. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you stuck all the way to this point in the video, I do thank you a lot for watching all the way through. And I know my content right now is kind of slow. I'm trying to get it back up there where I upload a lot. So hopefully you guys bear with me here. And I know my commentating isn't as good as it was before either, so I've been working on both of them, you know, trying to get better at commentating. So just guys, thanks for sticking around here, all you subscribers that stayed. And I know the next few videos probably won't get a lot of views, but it just does, you know, mean a lot that you guys have stuck around this long for me. So, you know, just hopefully stick around, let my commentating get back to where it was. And, you know, soon I'll be uploading Minecraft for Xbox One and Destiny right now. Those are going to be my two games I'm going to be uploading. I think uh, day, in a day or two, I'm going to start a Minecraft Survival Series for Xbox One. So I'll start uploading episodes of that. So that'll be fun. So guys, just if you're new here, please subscribe if any of that sounds good to you. And if you guys do have an Xbox One, please in the comment section down below. I'll make sure I, like, don't click it as spam. Just please in the comment section down below, leave your gamer tag and I will add you because I definitely need people to play with on Destiny. So if you'd like to play with me, just send me a message on Xbox Live or just leave a comment down below in the comment section. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. If this helped you out, please leave a like on the video and subscribe. So guys, thank you for watching again. Have a good day or night and bye.